While Naruto's victory over Kakazu demonstrated his tremendous growth, major changes were also taking place in the Orochimaru faction. Sasuke had rebelled against his master. Orochimaru had been severely weakened when the third Hokage sealed his arms, and now Sasuke had surpassed him. And now Sasuke had no use for him. Seeking to usurp Orochimaru's power for his own, Sasuke sought to assassinate him. I knew this time would come, Sasuke. There's nothing more you can teach me. I'm finished with you. It ends here. Orochimaru, I'm stronger than you. Listen to the little chick squawk. Hm. I guess the fledgling is all you could get your hands on. It didn't work with Itachi. Is that why you came after me? You still couldn't do it in the end. You couldn't equal the Uchiha, let alone overcome him. No matter how much of a genius you are, you're just a normal man before the Uchiha. <laughs> you can't win, Orochimaru. It's impossible for you to take my body. <laughs> you may be the first person to ever make such a fool of me. <laughs> <laughs> Right here. Right here. I got you. Right here. Over here. There. There. That's right in front. This can't be. A snake that crawled on the earth dreamt of soaring through the sky, knowing full well it was impossible. Still, in vain, it nurtured a baby bird in its own nest, failing to realize that the bird had become a hawk and the snake was now its prey. This can't... This can't be happening! I am Orochimaru. I am immortal. I will not die here. I, I am the one who will unlock the mysteries of nature. I am the one who will receive everything. I am. I will take your power. Defeated by Sasuke's visual prowess, Orochimaru was overthrown. After biding his time for so long, Sasuke could finally begin his quest for vengeance.
Gathering a small team to himself and naming it Hebi, Sasuke began to plot his revenge against Itachi. However, Akatsuki member Deidara launched a surprise attack while Sasuke was operating alone and separated from his allies. Deidara had intended to kill the treacherous Orochimaru, and so he resented Sasuke for beating him to the punch. Sasuke endured a great barrage from Deidara's artistic ninjutsu, which defeated Gara in the past. You're going to tell me about Itachi. If you can beat me, I'll tell you anything. Sure. You took down Orochimaru. You were just born into good stock. Quit acting so smug. Yeah, what I do. You. Hey, Toby. Check out that glare. This guy's really breaking apart. Hmm. Aw, we'll have to apologize to Itachi later. Shira, this guy moves too fast. We can't keep up. You heard the man. There's no point in fighting any longer. You lose. Now tell me about Itachi. Quit blabbering, you mini. We're just getting started. You're gonna keep going? Little... Is that how little you fear me? But Deidara was enraged when Sasuke demanded information concerning Itachi, because he felt his art was being disrespected. Deidara had once sensed something artistic in Itachi, and for that reason, he became obsessed with Sasuke. I'll show you my biggest, ultimate, maximum explosion. Is he going to? Struggling is useless. You can't run from an explosion. You're doomed to disintegrate here. Now are you afraid? Cower in awe, recoil in despair, cry your heart out. Because my art is an explosion! Shaken by anger and humiliation, he detonated himself to achieve the ultimate art form with the aim of killing Sasuke simultaneously. Sasuke, however, employed a transportation technique an instant before the blast and managed to escape the explosion. Once and for all, Daedra's art failed to impact the Uchiha.
By then, rumors of Orochimaru's defeat at Sasuke's hands had reached the Hidden Leaf. Naruto and his allies began a search to recover Sasuke, narrowing their focus to Sasuke's objective, Itachi of the Akatsuki. Eventually, it was Naruto who succeeded in confronting Itachi. If I capture you, I can see Sasuke! You won't get away! Why are you so fixated on my brother? He's a rogue ninja. Why am I so fixated? That's easy! Because I'm more his brother than you ever were! I have shared some of my power with you. What's the big idea? Weren't you coming after me? I'm going now. I have an important matter to attend to. After hearing Naruto's feelings concerning Sasuke, Itachi had no further interest in fighting, and left. In doing so, he failed to defeat or capture the Jinchuriki, Naruto. However, Itachi's behavior did not make sense to Naruto.
Upon identifying the location of the supposed leader of the Akatsuki, Jiraiya infiltrated the Hidden Rain Village alone. There, he encountered Payne, who appeared to be his former student. Payne was plotting to mass-produce weapons which employed forbidden jutsu powered by the tailed beasts. Although Jiraiya's initial objective had merely been to gather information, he decided he could not leave Payne be. The term, Child of Prophecy, which had once been revealed to him, came into his mind. It was said a student of Jiraiya's would bring either peace or destruction to the ninja world. He decided to confront Pain in order to rectify his pupil's errors and thereby thwart the Akatsuki's ambitions. I'll put an end to this miserable world. It's God's work. You are a poison to the world. I will take the responsibility of destroying you. That's the last thing I can do for you as your master. sent down from the heavens to a world in chaos. So I believe you guide the world chaos to war. But I was mistaken. Akatsuki brings chaos down. It seems that something went wrong with your development. <laughs> this world has not grown. But we have. Bringing us to this enhanced state. Well, listen to me. No matter the sacrifice, I'll keep moving toward true peace. But in order to attain true peace, the world must first be pain. As my students, I believe you grow into good. I never doubted you'd use your power to protect your loved ones. Rasengan! Pain's power allowed him to revive himself no matter how many times he fell, and so it was Jiraiya who met defeat. Naruto. You never gave up, no matter what. So... As your teacher, I... I must not give up. With his last ounce of strength, Jiraiya left a clue toward the nature of Pain's power. For he believed that Naruto was the child of prophecy who would bring peace to the ninja world.
Meanwhile, at an Uchiha hideout, Sasuke and Itachi came face to face. In his conversation with Sasuke, Itachi mentioned a third man who possessed Sharingan. Madara Uchiha, one of the founders of the Hidden Leaf, who had fought to his death against the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju. To avoid losing his sight at the cost of Mangekyo Sharingan, Madara took both of his younger brother's eyes. Itachi then declared that the reason he let Sasuke live was because he intended to use his eyes as his own replacements. It's time I settled the score with you, once and for all. Such confidence. But even with those eyes, you see nothing. You grasp nothing. You are wrong. There is one thing my eyes see clearly. I see your death, Itachi. Me dead at your feet, huh? Let's get to it. Not that night. The night you destroyed the Uchiha clan. Did you really do that alone? No matter how good you were, you couldn't have taken down the entire clan. There must have been someone else there that night. <laughs> So you figured it out. This way. What? Take this. Right here. Who was it? Who helped you? Take this. What? Madara Uchi. What? Madara Uchi. What? One of the founders of the Green Leaf Village. An immortal man who is both my friend and my mentor. Firestar! Fireball! Amaterasu! Over. Is this the death you imagined for me? <gasps> you really have gotten stronger, Sasuke. Without this, I would have been dead. <gasps> now I get serious. And now for the trump card, the Susano. Susano, Chidori, nuisance. Chidori Blade. All people live as prisoners of their own knowledge and perception. They call it reality, yet knowledge and perception are ambiguous. That reality may be an illusion. Moderate is 
just your arbitrary assumption. Sasuke, your eyes don't see a single truth. Right here! Yeah. A nuisance. Shidori! Yeah, Shidori! Yeah. A nuisance. Right here! No, no! Sam, right here! You can never beat me. Still moving? Fire style! Dragon fire jutsu! Did you try to get some space? Nuisance. Right there, go! What do you do about this? Shidori! There! Right here! What are you aiming at? Still! Shidori! Shidori! Did you try to get some space? Nuisance. Right there! Right here! Shidori! Shidori! Orochimaru's eight-headed serpent jutsu. are mine. What are you saying? Isn't there anything I can do? How can I defeat him? Give up. Can't hurt me. What should I do? Is I'm desperate. What you do, it's pointless. I'll have to 
stand down. It's over. Is this the end? It's no use. My chakra's almost... Come on! You're Big brother, us. let's go home together. Why would you My foolish do something little brother, like this? Go ahead and hate me. You promised to teach me a new shuriken Sorry, Sasuke. jutsu. Maybe another time. Big brother, you're so far away. There's no duo like you and me, bro. I'll always be with you. And when this deadly combat came to a close, Sasuke had vanquished his clan's mortal enemy, Itachi. But then Tobi appeared. He revealed himself to be Madara Uchiha, Itachi's collaborator, and the third man who possessed Sharingan. Tobi revealed the truth concerning Itachi, which greatly shocked and confused the exhausted Sasuke. Itachi had been acting fully under the orders of the Hidden Leaf's leaders. It was at their command that he had destroyed his family and become a rogue ninja and reviled criminal. The Uchiha clan had been planning a coup. Sorry. Sasuke, this is it. Sasuke finally understood. Itachi had risked everything for the sake of the ninja world, the hidden leaf, and his younger brother. No longer the heavy, we have shed our skin. From now on, our team will be the Hawk. We are the Taka. The Taka shall have but one motive. We exist to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Changing his team's name to Taka and joining forces with the Akatsuki, Sasuke resolved to take revenge on the Hidden Leaf.
led by Sasuke, Taka divided into groups with the Akatsuki and infiltrated the Hidden Mist Village to hunt a tailed beast. At Stormcloud Ravine, they squared off against Killer Bee, the Eight Tails Jinchuriki. You're Killer Bee, the Eight Tails Jinchuriki, right? Who the heck are you? Fools? You fools? I'm under no obligation to tell you. I think he's even at full strength. How oh, was all that? I keep it in my stash. Eight tails, that be me, the rabbit killer bee for show. <laughs> Never speak that way to me again. With Killer B capable of fully controlling Eight Tails' power, Taka was driven to the brink of defeat. But Sasuke activated Mangekyo Sharingan and unleashed black flames to knock out Killer B and capture him. This convinced Sasuke that he was now powerful enough to exact revenge on the village. As promised, I've delivered the Eight Tails to you. Nice work. I knew you could do it. Where are you going? First to heal, then... to the Hidden Leaf. I'll show the Hidden Leaf villagers my pain, my thirst, my despair. And this hatred of mine.
As Sasuke was capturing Killer B, Pain moved to assault the Hidden Leaf. His target was Naruto, the final Jinchuriki. One after another, the six paths of pain bested the village's elite ninja, and the Hidden Leaf was utterly destroyed. Time to deliver pain to the world. Almighty push! The people felt hopeless before Pain's awesome power. Naruto, sensing the disturbance, rushed to the leaf. With tremendous sadness and anger at seeing the village's wretched state, he charged into battle against Pain. <laughs> you take me on alone. That's a choice you regret. I'll never forgive you! This stops now! Come. This feeling... A thing on the I see become a sage. Just like Jiraiya Sensei. Students of the same master. We are to be able to understand. Master wanted peace. I can win. Come on. What part of any of this? It's peaceful. You cannot see the forest for the trees. You are simply incapable of comprehending the true meaning of peace. Just allow them to capture you. Your death shall bring peace. Shut up! I can I said shut up! Not bad. Summoning Jutsu. Get back, kid! The time is now. Almighty push! Kito! No more sage jutsu, eh? It's over. Tales. Uh, 
Let's settle this, Nine Tails. <laughs> Station! Expected this. The 
Ninetales' power is magnificent. It hurts. Somebody help me. I can't. You giving up over this? Are you sure you're my son? You're the fourth Hokage? I set up the seal spell to appear within your psyche once you sprouted the eighth tail. Truth be told, I hoped it would never get to this point. But then again, I was looking forward to meeting my son as a young man. So I guess it all evens out. Dad, you're my... The fourth Hokage's my... Dad. You seem to have had so much trouble since I sealed the Ninetales in you. I'm sorry. I always wanted to ask. Why? Why did you seal the Ninetales inside of me? I sealed the Ninetales chakra inside you because I trusted them. I thought the power would save you when you were up against them. I believed you'd be strong enough to overcome the very worst evil that would ever attack the Hidden Leaf Village. That's just selfish. Yes, it was. But since you're... Since you're my son, I was sure you could do it. The Hidden Leaf Village was destroyed. I saw from inside your mind. I know about Jiraiya Sensei, too. Hatred is never born from nothing. Fights begin when people try to save what's precious to them. When they lose those things, hatred takes over. Then Pain lost something and that's what made him what he is now? That I don't know. But there is no hatred without a cause. In the end, being a ninja means fighting that hatred. Every ninja fights against it. Jiraiya Sensei left a quest to you to find a solution that would end this hatred. But I can't forgive pain. I just can't. Please tell me, Forth. What should I do? You have to find that answer yourself. Even I don't know it. I believe in you. Now it's time for me to go. My chakra's fading. I will rebuild the seal, but this is the last time. I'll always be on your side. Do your best, Naruto. Thanks, Dad. I'll... I'll try. His father appeared in a vision to provide encouragement. Regaining his senses, Naruto returned to the real world where pain awaited. Think again. Oh, my God. I've 
used too much power. All right! Push me this far. Feel the pain. This is it. Now I'm gonna find out who's really controlling you. Impressive. You figured it out. <laughs> I can't lose. Almighty push. Did I use too much? It's too late for that jutsu. You don't have a ghost of a chance. Give up. You first! What? You should give up! On me giving up! Ah! <laughs> In the midst of battle, Pain explained to Naruto that his objective was to create peace and establish justice. This world of ninja is ruled by hatred. To bring about true change, the world must first understand the horror of true suffering. Naruto was able to discern the location of Nagato, Pain's true form, and they engaged in direct battle. During this fight, they discussed how the cycle of hatred could be broken. Pervy Sage believed in me and left me this quest. So I gotta believe what he believed. I'll believe in my master till the very end! How can I believe Jiraiya's words after all this? There's no such thing as true peace. Not so long as we live in this cursed world. In that case, I'll break the curse. If there's such a thing as peace, I'll find it. Not giving up! The day will come when all people will understand one another and live in harmony. After hearing Jiraiya's words, Nagato decided to trust Naruto. With the last of his power, he revived the village's dead and then passed away. Naruto vowed to advance the ideals that had been entrusted to him by his teacher and elder fellow pupils.